That's love. Wait till you taste that. Right in the heart of Harlem in a 15 square foot food truck. I got four po' boys here. Yes, that's me. You'll find po' boys, shrimp and grits, and a whole lot of good vibes. I tell people all the time on my corner, on 125th Street, there's nothing but love. Love and Harlem are two things that are part of Chef Tammy Treadwell's DNA. In this neighborhood that's in every part of who you are. We are sitting in the Harlem Rose Garden. This is like so surreal because I've often said I'm that flower or that rose that will break through the concrete. No matter what you pour on me, I'm gonna emerge stronger and stronger. Throughout Tammy's sometimes challenging life, food has been what she calls her love language. I cannot talk about food without talking about my grandmother because her spirit is with me everywhere I go. I got my love of cooking from hanging around in the kitchen with her, not wanting to go outside because she was cooking and I wanted to be first in line to get the plate. There was a lot of people <laughs> in my house. After surviving cancer and getting laid off from her job, Tammy felt a calling to feed people. I'm taking care of all the flavors. In 2016, she broke through the male-dominated food truck industry and opened Harlem Seafood Soul. The idea that you had, like, all the things you had to overcome in your life. At your core, are you an optimist? Unbelievably. We live in a world of possibilities. I'll show you it can be done. Then in March of 2020, the unthinkable happened. Tammy was forced to shut her truck down. Then her husband, Greg, passed away from COVID. What did you lose that day? I lost my best friend. We had 38 amazing years mm -hmm. together. One thing I know for sure is that man loved me. I have never had a doubt that his love is real. There's a period in between fetal position mm -hmm. and standing up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And there's mm -hmm. something that happens in that moment where it changes. What made you say, it's time to get out from under these covers? Mm -hmm. I started seeing the faces of the people in my family. They were looking at me for the first time like they were very concerned. Every time I would hit a wall emotionally, or I felt like, you know, I'm, today I, today's not the day, I'm gonna lay back down today. Mm -hmm. And my granddaughter would say to me, Grandma, when are you going to cook for the people again? This time I looked at her like, hmm, you know, that's a good question. You know what we love about you is that you're not only sharing your love through your food, you're also sharing your love through helping others. Mm -hmm. That was the only motivation I had to cook, was to do something for someone else. I had to put my grief on the mm -hmm. side and move forward, mm. and that's what I did. When when the doors opened, mm. and did you wonder, are they gonna remember me? Yeah, I stood there for a little while like, okay, I know y'all smell me. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally turned around um, to, I guess, stir the grits or do something, and when I turned back around, there was a line yeah. here. Mm. There was a line, oh. and there had to be you know, at least a dozen people standing yes. in line and they were waiting for me <laughs> and they were smiling and they were like, where you been? Oh. And we're glad to see you back here. Harlem is a village. That's how I was always raised to believe. There's a lot of love in this village. Mm. Just wait till you get the experience. Let's go. All right. Yes, let's go. Today, just shy of 60 and after a lifetime of hardship, Chef Tammy says she's in her prime and she'll remain on that corner as long as the community allows her to stay. Jenna, I'm gonna give you a little day. Thank you. Okay, ready? I have worked so hard for so many years and now I get to do what makes me happy. Is she, she's amazing.